Question really totally comes out the other end. Um, so what we've got here is, is a pipeline. Uh, if you have a look at stages in the pipeline, uh, what you'll first do is we'll first build. So, we'll, um, so within pipeline you have stages. These are the different stages. The first stage we've got build. Green arrow, which means once the whole build stage passes, it'll then run functional tests, um, which I've currently written. This is a little server example. So uh, the build builds it, does code coverage, does unit tests, stuff like that. Then it triggers the functional test, which then takes the war file that was produced in the build stage, deploys it into Tomcat, uh, runs functional tests against it using H HTML unit. Uh, then once that all passes, then it'll automatically um, run Selenium tests. Um, and then you'll see there's a different color here, which means this is a manual promotion. So the whole pipeline will automatically stop there. And then what will happen is you'll be able, uh, a QA, for example, will be able to then go and look at the history of the pipeline and say, all right, here's all the different stages, here's the history. I can then now pick the stage and say, all right, take that stage and promote it into UAT. So the QAs can then got one click deploy into their different environments. They want to come here, choose the build they want, because you can then uh, click on Selenium. Hover over something. Ah, oh, there you go. <coughs> you can pick up there and you say, that's the modification set that's running through this pipeline. So they'll be able to see the revision. Here yeah, at this station, I'm using Mercurial, so that's the Mercurial revision number. Um, uh, who changed it? What was in the comments? Um, so that way, the QA has got kind of control over what's going on as well. Uh, within a stage, you can have uh, multiple jobs. So over here, we just simply package it for the functional testing because this is a little web app, we want to make sure that the web app runs in both Jetty and Tomcat. So the whole stage will pass only if all the jobs within the stage pass. Same with Selenium, we want to run Selenium tests with Firefox and Internet Explorer, and so, you know, that's, that's how it all goes. Uh, to do all this, we've got agents. Uh, so yeah, I've got three agents, I've got VMware running, uh, so I've got my OS X box, I've got a uh, Ubuntu VM running, and a Windows XP VM running. Uh, the way it allocates stuff around is with resources, which are simply tags. You put, any, uh, put in any uh, freeform resource you want, um, stuff. And that just pops the tag in onto that agent. And then what happens is uh, in the configuration, uh, what you can then see is you can see uh, each of the jobs. That one's got no resources that it depends on. Functional tests, the Jetty one, will only run on an agent that's got the Jetty resource. Tomcat only runs on an agent that's got a Tomcat, and so you start juggling it around. And the way it'll happen is that the first agent <coughs> that matches the resource will pick it up. Uh, so this UI is written by the same guys who wrote the uh, current cruise dashboard. Uh, so there's some common things in there, like if you uh, force a build, um, what you can do is you can then uh, click on the, the package um, build job itself, you can have a look and you can start monitoring console output in real time. Uh, there we go, so it tells you which agents are signed, where it's running on, and you can start getting all this information. Um, within your output as well, what you've got is you've got these standard tabs uh, up to properties, that's all defined, so you can actually associate custom properties with the build. So you can start tracking things like um, if the duration of the build um, takes too long, you can then fail build because the build's too slow or anything. But what you can also do is you can create different tabs going for different things. So you have tab to uh, JUnit reports, uh, coverage, this is a curvature report. Um, you have a tab to a JUnit report, so you can start managing things like that. But what you can also then do as part of that is um, when you're running functional tests, uh, let's go back to Selenium tests. Uh, Selenium tests, you can actually go back and um, say Internet Explorer, I want to watch my Internet Explorer stuff running. So I've actually got it recording a shockwave flash. <coughs> it's working, but you can basically watch your, 